Okay, this is going to be a quick tutorial on real estate photography photos using a drone, the composition. So first things first, you do need a license in order to, to sell your real estate photos using a drone. If you need a, a, a school recommended, I will put a link to the one that I used in the description below. Always make sure you have a clear line of sight, meaning you can see where the drone is at all times. The kind of drone I'm using is a DJI Phantom 4, and I also have a backup drone. Just in case I'm having issues with one, I can go to the other. My settings that I'm using is I am shooting in RAW, and I'm using auto white balance, and I'm using a negative .07 exposure because my particular drone shoots a little on the bright side. Now, this would be the composition I would first pick. All right, um, just your, your basic front composition. Um, then I'm going to move over here to the side. And I would probably use a composition something like this for my second photo. However, on this particular property, uh, there is a much better view. There's a reason why the real estate agency is wanting drone shots of this house which I will get to next. As you can see, I park in the shade uh, when you're getting drone photos. Even if you get your car in the photo, if you park it right, especially in the shade, it's easy to just clone out and make it uh, disappear. So as we raise the drone up here, you're going to start to see what the scene is that the realtor is gonna to wanna to have for this home. All right, now that I've got, got the water view that I'm looking for, I need to find the house. So I'm gonna pan down, find the home, and uh, I'm gonna back up, and I'm gonna keep that house in the, in the frame. It's easy to see this home, but let's say you're doing some cookie cutter home with neighbors to the left and right. It's always good to figure out where your house is before you go all the way backward. I always like to keep my house in the viewfinder at all times so I don't lose it. This house I'm not going to lose though. This would be my first composition that I would do, getting the lake and the house right there in the center. If need be, um, on the photos, I would put an arrow pointing to the house if it was hard to see. Now I'm looking around for my next composition, which is gonna be towards the right. There was really not that much towards the left. So again, keeping the house always in the center of my frame there. I'm going to get my next composition showing the house off. There, that's the composition that I would pick from this angle. Next, I'm going to fly over and see there's another view that I can get, which that shows a good, uh, that's a good shot of showing the line of trees and then where the uh, lake starts in relation to the house. Looking for my next composition there, I think I'm going to go to the back of the house. So I'm going to go fly behind the house, spin it around so I don't lose where the house is. Again, on this kind of house, you're not going to, you're not going to lose that. So there's where the water is starting. Now notice the big reflection in the water. I don't typically like to take photos that way. The water doesn't look good uh, when you go to edit it. It's just like you're taking pictures of a light bulb. So what I'm going to do is slide over there to the left, which you can see that's where I'm flying now. And I'm going to get that bright spot out of there and show kind of what the house and the lake looks like behind the house. Now, this is me trying to get a shot of the backyard. The, the woods are right there. So what I'm going to try to do is get as close to those woods as I can 
try to point down and pick a composition maybe there, chopping the house up just a little bit because I can't get far enough away from the home to get the hole back in the frame. Then I might use that one as a composition right there, come down a little bit so my car is not in the photo. There, that might be my second one. Yes, it's shaded on the house. Not a whole lot I can do about that. Next, I'm gonna fly up for one last shot of that uh, backyard, trying to show off what I can, get the whole thing in the frame there. And that would probably be my last composition. So thank you very much.